<laughs> All right, Miss Seva's class, welcome to our poem in your pocket day. We're going to each take a turn to come up to the microphone and share a poem. We'll kind of just weave our way through the rows. Um, if you need a moment, if you need to pass, um, we, we can come back at the end and check in again to see if you are ready to share your poem. Remember, we're wearing masks, so you have to speak up a little bit. We have the microphone to help you, so make sure you're right in front of it. You can move it up or down if you need to. And also remember, after someone shares a poem, we celebrate poems by snapping. If you don't like snapping, you can do a quiet flex. So I'm going to start us off with a poem that's in my pocket, and it's called A Pocket Poem and it's by Bobby Katz. With a poem in your pocket and a pocket in your pants, you can rock with new rhythms, you can skip, you can dance. And wherever you go and whatever you do, that poem in your pocket is going there too. You could misplace your homework, you could lose your left shoe, but that poem in your pocket will be part of you. And nothing can take it and nothing can break it. That poem in your pocket becomes part of you. All right, so we're going to start with our front row. Which end of the front row wants to start? Oh, no, we do it in number order. <laughs> oh, are you going to do it in number? Sorry, are you doing number order? Yeah. Okay, sorry, we will do number order. <laughs> number order, number one. Come on up. Laura, yeah, you don't have to be there. Back to you. We can come back. Yeah. Okay, two. Right. Mr. Wills, go ahead. This poem is called My Cat is Cute. Every single wing of night, I pet my cat, and he loves it when I give him scratches on his chin. Every single wing of night, me and my my cat and I sleep in the same bed. Every single wing of night, me and my, my cat and I are happy. Woo! If you find a turtle, look at its big feet. If you can, you can't, because that is Tortoise feet. Tortoise has a big humpback, so a humpback whale has a lot of turtle, and the tortoise and his jeans and his most fun. If you find a tortoise, look at its flat webbed feet. If you can, you can't, because that is turtle feet. A turtle has a hard sharp beak, but beak the kidneys have none. A tortoise and the turtles, which do you think is more fun? <laughs> I really want a cat because they are fat. They eat and drink and sometimes from the sink. They might scare the dogs and bring in dead frogs, but at least they're not tigers and won't bite your fingers. I may have lied, they might make you cry. But when they bring you something nice, they bring me a present just to be nice. They will sleep with me because they're so cute. Just because they scare the chickens doesn't mean they're blue. You might get a junkie one, you might get a fluffy one, but who doesn't want a cat that is fat? Because after all, a cat's a cat, and that's fat. Chemistry 
chemistry or in history. Chemistry is all around us, from trees to a school bus. Having, having reactions, measuring fractions, periodic table of elements contains lots of experiments. A can does in a Coke, who leave the bottle broke. An uncooked egg with vinegar, who makes the egg bouncier. There's still a lot to discover and even more to answer. So take off your robe and explore the globe. I think the dolls are making because they are your best friends. They keep making mistakes, but they make up. They are cute, playful, and amazing. Dolls are small, big, funny, and most of all, they're amazing. Types of dolls. There are many dogs. There are labs, golden retrievers. There are doctors, Labrador, Labrador, Corals, and they're very and small dogs, they're husks, they're huskies, but wheelers and scary dogs. Cats have wolf dogs, Tosa and Great Jane, Great Jane and much more. Last one, I, one of the last things that you might, you might think dogs are not one of the animals that you are to me. This one is funny from her. Slight so salami, the strangest, strange stranger I met in my life was the man who made use of his nose as a knife. Love, love forever. 
Tyler, you're very sure. Okay, back. Laura, are you sure you don't want to share? Sanaya? Can I share again? Can I go again? It was fun. Leah has a poem that she gave me. Okay. Yay! 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 All right, so this is Leah, it's her name. She said, it says, Lilia. Yeah, it's my real name, animal lover, loser at nitro type. I love watching anime and playing sports. <laughs> Leah is such a weird name, ask my dad. Animal lover, I already said it, heavenly, it's my middle name. And then she also wrote a poem called Take a Kneel. Take a kneel to be saved. Take a kneel to be brave. Take a kneel to be you. Take a kneel to be true. If you are going to take a kneel, take it for you. And take it for Lulu, Evie Sloth. Miss Sava loves us, and so do you, I hope. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Davis Carlson has a poem. <laughs> this one is called um, Nothing Gold Can Stay. It's by Robert Frost, who's a famous poet. Nature's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold. Her early leaf's a flower, but only so an hour. The leaf subsides to leaf, so Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down today, nothing gold can stay. Abby wants to share her poem. I want to poem up the book. Make sure we're still tracking this secret, Abby. Take this kiss upon the brow and then pardon from you now. Whoa. Thus much let me know. You are not wrong who deem that my days have been a dream. Yet if hope has flown away in a night burning night, in a vision born night, in a dead world of the dark. All that we see is seen that is not a dream within a dream. I stand in the door of a search for the short and I hold it in my hand, playing with the whole thing. How few, how few, my fingers to be, while I leave all of you. Oh God, can I see them? Oh God, can I grasp them with a tighter clasp? Oh God, can I say God, and the pain was great. It's all that we see, we see, we both dream and dream. Yeah. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 